All right, guys. So I got some new slabs. And here is one right here. Ladies and gents, your little buddy Rob here. All right. Got some raw key issues. I got some cool slabs. Let's see what I picked up this time. I'll start with the raw books first. All right. So I picked up here Amazing Spider-Man. This 258. In this book, it's a newsstand too. This is the first appearance of Spider-Man in a different costume. I call this the Bagman issue. This is one where he actually wore a bag over his face with the Fantastic Four costume because he realized he learned that his symbiote was a parasite. So this book is the first appearance of I think it's called Bombastic Spider-Man. So this is actually a different costume. If you collect all Spider-Man's different costume issues, this is one you need to have right here. Then I have here. This is X-Men 251. This is an iconic cover. This one actually has gotten popular over the last couple of years. See this one for a dollar. I recommend you get it. I have Darth Maul 3. This is the first cover appearance of Darth Bane. Right here. Now if you saw the Book of Boba Fett, you saw Darth Bane there. I think this book is actually worth getting if you see it for not much. Then I have here. Spider-Woman number one. It's her first solo series. And kind of a cool, classic type cover. Then I have Philadelphia number one. This has been optioned, but nothing has come of it yet, as far as development. Uncanny X-Men number 158. This is the first cover appearance, although it is tied with ROM 31. The first cover appearance and second full appearance of Rogue. We have here Spider-Man manga. This is the first Megaverse Peter Parker Spider-Man. And there is some little rumor that we could possibly see him in the Spider-Verse movie, but we won't know, just a rumor. Now you have your Strange Academy number one, and this is the fourth printing. You still find these cheap, and I believe this might also, I could be wrong, the one of the Walmart variants. So I think it's a good spec. Then we have your Strange Academy number one, and this is the second printing. Cool cover. This is also an excellent spec. You have your Avengers, West Coast Avengers 94. And this is the first time we, I think Rhodey calls himself the War Machine. So this book is considered his first appearance as War Machine, even though I think Iron Man 282 was supposedly his first time in the armor. This is when we actually calls himself uh, War Machine. Then we have Web of Spider-Man 118. This is the first Ben Riley as Scarlet Spider. This book's gotten hot because rumor has it that he is a good chance we're going to see him in the Spider-Verse movie. It's also a newsstand too, so it's more popular. Then we have here Wolverine number eight. This is an iconic Wolverine cover. I think it's an iconic John Buscema cover, I think. Anyway, this book's hot right now. If you see this one for a low price, get this one too. Then we have here King Size Annual Avengers number 10. This is the first appearance of Rogue. I believe it's also the first cover appearance of Mystique. This book is, I think, a bargain right now. It runs about 100 bucks or so, you know, in mid-grade. And when the X-Men come, you know, wish you had this book. All right, and then we, of course, there's a rumor they cast as a Bridger to be in the Ahsoka series when it comes out. And this is the first cover appearance of all the characters. Ezra Bridger right there. Sabine Wren. Of course, Kane and Jarrus and Zeb. And also, Harris and Dula. This book can be had for like 40, 50 bucks. This is their first cover appearance. Now on to the slabs. All right, guys. So I got some new slabs. And here is one right here. Rick and Morty, number one, CGC 9.6. I had to get it. Rick and Morty are iconic car cartoon characters. And I think this is a book that is worth having. Then I picked up Shazam 28, CGC 7.0. And this is the first cover appearance and first, or, or sorry, second appearance of Black Adam. His first appearance in Marvel Family is so expensive that it's ridiculous. So this is kind of the default book to get. And The Rock is coming. Then I have here 
Wolverine Limited Series number one, CGC 9.6. In this book, I classify as a classic Frank Miller cover. Of course, when you have that one, you have to have this one right here. Hulk 340, CGC 9.6. And this is a classic McFarlane cover. And then of course, because they're now in Marvel now, Marvel Comics, I had to get Predator number one, first print. CGC 9.8. This book is, I think, a bargain. This book is not easy to find 9.8 cheaply. This one cost me a bit of money. And my dream is to get the Alien number one, CGC 9.8, but that book is just in the thousands right now. This book, I believe, should be when I sought after, in my personal opinion. Bye.